with the shape dynamics and scattering enabled let's see color dynamics in this lecture we have seen how to randomize the size rotation and position of a brush stamps with the color dynamics we can randomize the color as well first let's select the red color as foreground color and yellow as the background color the first slider is foreground background jitter to learn the sliders better we will set the slider values to 100% once you learn you can fine tune it later according to your need set the foreground background jitter to 100% this will randomize the color between red and yellow each time you paint will randomize the color but it is scattering a couple of brush stamps with the same color select the topmost option for randomizing the color on each tip this will stamp each time with a random color between red and yellow the next slider is hue jitter hue will increase the range from red and yellow to more colors and stamp the random colors you can limit the colors with lesser value of hue jitter set it to 0 for now the next slider is saturation jitter it will randomize the saturation of colors that means producing colors between the white and random colors between red and yellow lower the range will limit the color saturation set it to 0 for now the next slider is brightness jitter this will randomize the brightness of color that means producing colors between the black and random colors between red and yellow lower the range will limit the color brightness set it to 0 for now the next slider is purity purity slider is useful to produce the pure saturated color shades set the foreground color to lighter shade of red and background color to lighter shade of yellow now paint you see that the colors are lighter and less saturated now set the purity slider to plus 100% though we have selected the less saturated colors the purity option will force to produce the pure and saturated colors setting the purity slider less than 0 will desaturate the colors and produce colors towards lighter shades now let's talk about questions the first question is how will you set less color variation on brush stampings You have two ways to do that either select the less variant colors in foreground and background color or set the foreground background jitter slider to a lesser value The next question explain the hue jitter So hue jitter will increase the range around the colors you have selected in foreground and background color more jitter means more range from the current color to randomize And the last question what is the difference between saturation jitter and brightness jitter Well saturation jitter will randomize the colors between the pure color of current color shade and white color whereas brightness jitter will randomize the colors between the pure color of current color shade and black color 